Hi and welcome to today's class of Vedic Astrology. <clears throat> so today I want to discuss with you some very simple but highly effective home tips. Home tips means tips which you can follow in the comforts of your home. All right. And why to do such homely tips? That is to increase the effectiveness of yoga karka planets. That is in your horoscope, in your lagna chart. And all of these tips are related to, so whatever I am telling you, whatever I am about to tell you about this home tips or home remedies, it comes under the topic of Vedic Astrology and Ayurveda. All right, because Ayurveda also has a significance, has an important, uh, has an has an importance whenever Vedic Astrology is understood, is learned. Because Ayurveda is also something that goes to very ancient times, like about its origin and Vedic astrology is also very ancient in nature. So both of these Vedic astrology and Ayurveda, they has, uh, or we can say Ayurveda has a lot of prominence in the world of Vedic astrology. <clears throat> So whatever I am going to tell you, I'm going to discuss you. These are some useful and very, very simple tips that you can follow in order to increase the auspiciousness of your yoga karka planets. So if certain yoga karka planets are degree wise, not strong enough in your horoscope and you are finding it hard, you are, you are understanding it, you are feeling that these planets or whatever good effects these planets was supposed to give as per your Lagna chart, depending on the planets placement, depending on the overall uh, nature of the planets in your horoscope, in your Lagna chart, you are not getting their effects, their positive effects, even if they are yoga karka. So you can follow these home remedies or home tips. What you need to do is before you go to sleep, all right, take a glass of lukewarm milk and mix the below whatever I am about to say in that lukewarm milk. Uh, one tablespoon you need to take of, of the below ingredients or the below, you know, food items or whatever, however way you want to describe it. And you have to mix it in that lukewarm milk and then you have to drink it before you go to sleep. So what are the, so for specific planet, some specific ingredients are required. If you want to strengthen sun, what you need to do is you have to take methi seeds. Methi is a Hindi word. In English, I, I think it's known as fenugreek seeds. So you have to take one tablespoon of fenugreek seeds, mix it in that lukewarm milk, and then you have to drink that before you go to sleep. If you want to strengthen the planet moon, you have to drink milk only, lukewarm milk, before you go to sleep. If you want to strengthen Mars in your Lagna chart, you can take one tablespoon of jaggery, mix it in that one glass of lukewarm milk and just drink it before you go to sleep. In order to strengthen the planet Mercury, you can take mix soft and tulsi leaves in that one tablespoon, mix it well and then mix it with that one glass of lukewarm milk and then you drink it before you go to sleep. If you want to strengthen the planet Jupiter in your Lagna chart, 
you can take one tablespoon of turmeric powder mix it well in that lukewarm milk one glass just drink it and go to sleep if it is saturn if you want to strengthen the planet the yoga karka planet saturn in your horoscope uh, you can take flax seeds all right f l a x you can take flax seeds one tablespoon mix it with that lukewarm milk and then you drink it and you can go to sleep so all of these uh ingredients all of these food items you can say food products are as per vedic astrology if you can if you are taking it along with this lukewarm milk it is believed that it strengthens that particular planet and a lot of good results are seen especially if that individual undertakes this particular habit so no need to you know do all of this above whatever planets if you are aware about it that some planets that it needs energization and along with the beach mantras if you think that you are not able to buy gemstones right now you are unwilling to buy rudraksh because of any reason i don't know what the reasons may be so and if you want to do follow vedic astrological remedies which doesn't cost you much all right which is very economically extremely feasible so beej mantra is one of them that you can do for both yoga karka as well as marka planets i have discussed about the importance the process of beej mantras everything in detail in my previous classes so this particular thing you can also do pick those particular items which you need to mix with that lukewarm milk in order to energize a particular planet that even though is yoga karka is not able to give its complete auspicious effects taking into consideration that might be degree wise it's not strong all right or might be it's getting asth because of sun or some other reason it can be so these things home remedies these are items that are available in everybody's kitchen so these are home remedies that you can do all right and if suppose you are not able to mix one particular ingredient or seeds properly in the milk what you can do there is another way of doing it this is this you can also follow you can also take one tablespoon of that particular item especially one which will not be easily mixing with milk dissolving in that milk you can take that tablespoon eat it chew it swallow it and then you can drink that immediately after that you can drink that lukewarm glass of one glass of milk all right so this you can do uh obviously i'm telling it if in case some people if in case you are lactose intolerant and if any individual is or are lactose intolerant and you are not able to, you are not able to drink milk so obviously this particular thing you will not be able to follow this particular process you will not be able to follow but for all of those individuals who can drink milk there is no problem in drinking milk medical medically wise your health wise there is no issues then you can follow this process these are things which are easily available in the market if you want to keep some se separate packets only for this particular purpose you can do that which you do not want to mix with your other Uh, daily food routines you can place one packet of milk separately for this purpose one small packet of seeds or whatever it is separately for this particular purpose which you want to follow as per vedic astrology you can keep it separately keep it in a nice and tidy place and before you go to sleep every night you can have this and feel relaxed and go to bed all right so this i wanted to share and it comes under the topic this particular process this home remedies this home vedic astrological tips it comes under the topic of ayurveda and vedic astrology so i hope you have understood it i hope you have noted down whatever i had said which particular food items should be taken for which particular planet 
and how you need to do it. I hope you have understood it or you can watch this particular videos that many times where whenever you want to follow this uh, this particular process. A very easy process. But believe me, it is you think that what will happen if I drink this, if I eat this, nothing will happen. No. This is what is the difference between believing what you are doing and not believing what you are doing. If you are believing in what you are doing, it creates a much difference in your life. So and fact shows data shows uh, feedback shows that this home remedies has proven to be really effective in giving a lot of relief in giving a lot of you know positive effects in individuals life if you follow this for a particular time period and you only need to follow this particular process especially for that particular planet is Mahadasha and Antardasha you don't have to do this for lifetime so whenever there is a particular Mahadasha or Antardasha for a particular yoga karka planet and you feel that and you know that you have to strengthen the strength of the planet in order to receive all of its yoga karka auspicious effects in your life you can follow this till the time the Mahadasha and Antardasha of those planets are going on so this is what I wanted to discuss in today's class I hope you will get benefit from this particular information and uh, also I want to remind you that keep on watching all of my videos each and every class of mine that is about the Vedic astrology whatever I am sharing discussing and I am posting in my YouTube channel all of these classes will help you to achieve to inculcate the skill set of being a, a good sound thorough and a very proper practitioner of Vedic astrology again what the only thing that you need to do is you have to watch my videos till the time you are absolutely confident about a particular topic and just don't stop with the watching practice it in your own you do your own homework implement your learnings into your practice then only whatever you are learning your understanding from all of these classes of mine about Vedic astrology all of these will be planted and earthed into your long term memory then only you will be able to utilize completely whatever you are learning and whatever you are gathering information knowledge content from all of my classes and start from class one then you go to class two proceed sequentially go step by step then only you will be able to understand all of my classes properly accurately and you will be in tune you will be at the same level that is with my words you will be able to understand whatever I am saying whatever I am speaking in all of these Vedic astrological classes of mine and please subscribe to my YouTube channel like my videos share my videos and if you have any doubts any queries any questions related to the topics of Vedic astrology that is whatever I'm sharing discussing and posting in this YouTube channel of mine please share them in the comment section and I will <clears throat> definitely try to answer your doubts your queries your questions all right so I will see you in the next class take care